In this video, we'll talk about the vegan journey for health and performance. Living a vegan lifestyle has many different benefits. Backed up by multiple prominent research studies, it has been proven that a vegan lifestyle can lower the risk of cardiac events, reduce the risk of developing certain cancers, and lower an individual's chance of type 2 diabetes. Not only that, but it helps with regulating one's metabolism and weight, and can stave off certain weight-induced phenomena such as hypertension. A vegan lifestyle has also proven to reduce someone's risk of stroke. But there are many different benefits to a vegan lifestyle that are not merely based on health. The UN recently released a report that stated a dire need for the world to migrate away from consistently consuming animal products. The impact from a majority of the world's growing population consuming meat and animal products is the growing need for crops to feed those animals in order to breed them for food. Food is not like finding an alternative for fossil fuels. People are required to eat for their survival. However, as the current population stands, animals raised for the sole purpose of providing food to the general population consume over half of all the world's crops. Yes, half. And no, that is not some random statistic. That statistic was embedded within the UN's official report. It is simply an inefficient use of our planet's natural resources. As the population continues to grow because of the advancement in medicine, more agricultural space is going to be necessary in order to grow and feed the heightened number of animals bred necessary for food purposes. Many people talk about deforestation and scream for it to go away, but many people do not understand that around 56% of that deforestation is going to the purpose of agriculture, growing food not simply for humans, but for those animals that are raised specifically for general food sources. And if that's not enough, around 850 million people around 15% of the entire world's population struggle and deal with undernourishment. Even with all of this going on, it's all simply a waste of the planet's natural resources that will become exhausted in the near future if we continue on this path. So what does being vegan have to do with any of this? Well, not consuming animal products and meat takes a bit off the burden of this need for more agricultural space for those animals we need to feed. Adopting a vegan lifestyle takes the stress off the planet's natural resources and will ultimately require less water, fossil fuels, and land in order to cultivate. Multiple reports have surfaced that declare the world's population will be around 9 billion individuals by 2050. And many more studies have been done that proclaim the world's meat needs will not be sustainable by that point. Adopting a vegan lifestyle can help that statistic. Many vegans scream about the animal cruelty and how that should be the reason everyone converts to a vegan lifestyle. But the truth is more that people are concerned about their own well-being rather than the well-being of an animal they cannot see, touch, or hear. So, it should bring a smile to many people's faces when we say that there are more scientifically backed studies that give even more personal health benefits that are only provided when adopting a vegan diet. It's been shown in various studies that a vegan diet provides a higher availability of fiber, potassium, antioxidants, and folate, which makes it the most mineral and vitamin-rich diet offered on the health and wellness circuit today. Not only that, but it's the number one recommended diet by general physicians and specialists when it comes to someone who needs to lose weight. One particularly renowned study compared a vegan diet to a dozen other popular and well-received diets and found that the participants who adopted the vegan diet lost the most weight, with an average of 9.3 pounds more than all the other groups of participants utilizing other diets. It can also help level out blood sugar levels and promote kidney functions as a result of lowering and regulating internal blood sugars. 
Not only that, but it has been proven to help individuals who suffer with different arthritic pains because many of the vegetables and fruits ingested contain antioxidants and free radicals. Yes, those are actually a thing that help manage internal swelling. However, no one can deny the social stigma and misconceptions many people have because of the loud and proud vegans who accuse people of being monsters because they eat meat. Unfortunately, they are out there. With any lifestyle, whether it be health-based, politically-based, or religiously-based, comes those, comes those who take it to an extreme and give the lifestyle a bad reputation. Luckily, there are ways you can combat that social stigma should you choose to adopt a vegan diet and or lifestyle. For starters, educate yourself. Look into those studies and hold those statistics at the ready. With taboo subjects come people who will want you to prove to them what you are talking about. So be ready. Read and educate yourself in the avenues that have proven a vegan lifestyle does what it claims to do. Many other people believe vegans are not getting what they need when it comes to macro and micronutrients. Take, for example, proteins and calcium. Once someone hears someone does not eat meat or animal byproducts, they automatically assume two things are not being ingested, calcium from milk and protein from meat. This is another avenue to properly educate someone. Use your thirst for knowledge and research foods that are rich in calcium and protein that are not stereotypical resources. Not only should you incorporate those into your diet, you can also use this information when educating someone on what veganism really is versus what they've been originally introduced to. Another way to get around this social stigma if you've not educated yourself fully yet is to simply say you enjoy the taste of something while not enjoying the taste of something else. If you go out to a restaurant and order a vegan-based dish, someone will eventually ask, if you aren't vegetarian, why are you eating a vegetarian dish? Instead of telling them, because I'm a vegan, and spiraling into that social stigma conversation, rephrase what you would say to them. Instead, tell them because you thought the dish would taste good or because you enjoy the taste of fried tofus versus the fried chicken they were offering. No one can argue with you if it's simply a matter of what your taste buds and stomach preferred at the moment, but someone will always argue with you over ideologies. However, education on the diet and lifestyle will be necessary at some point in time, especially if you ever want to talk about your eating habits with someone. Luckily, we have many different popular myths in the next chapter that are easily and scientifically debunked to help begin your mental journey towards preparing for all aspects of your lifestyle, including the diet. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.